GTA 6 graphics how do they compare to GTA 5? 10 years later, is it a massive leap? It's been 10 whole years since the last Grand Theft Auto, and it's been a decade of significant change in the gaming industry. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, for example, have been and gone. Now that we finally have the trailer for GTA 6, we know for sure that the series has completely skipped the 8th generation of consoles. That surely means a huge graphical leap between Grand Theft Auto 5 and 6. Then, let's not forget that while Grand Theft Auto has technically skipped the 8th generation of consoles, this only applies when we look at GTA 5 at launch. The 5th in the series has since been ported to PS4 and Xbox One, and has been given the remastered treatment. So, GTA 5 running on previous gen hardware looks far more polished than it did back in 2013. However, the superiority of the newer game is pretty evident. Whether it's the details of the people on the beach, or the wildlife in the swamps, Grand Theft Auto 6 looks to take things a lot further with the PS5 and Xbox series. As discourse about the new trailer has become ubiquitous across the online sphere, talk about the graphics is bound to be a prominent talking point. And, as we expected, it's ranging from high praise to jeering derision. However, there are some complaints from people especially from users on Reddit who are less than happy with the trailer. Take this comment from user educationalduck717, for example, who said, I'm kind of disappointed. The graphics are very similar to our DR2 and TLU to which are old gen games. I expected way more. They seem, however, in the proverbial vocal minority. We reckon the game looks incredible, and we can't wait for another trailer. Thank mm -hmm. you.